Hi there, folks. Welcome back to an episode of Road Trip. It's me, Dos Benji FM, and I didn't plan on making this video. This is a video that is happening due to circumstance rather than necessity. As you'll know if you follow the channel for a while, I don't tend to upload main series on weekends, but today uh, I have to make an exception for what's just happened. So the title gives it away, and you want to see how, why, what, when. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to have to bring you a little bit of context. Since our last games uh, then against Red Bull, we lost against Bayern 1-0, so two back-to-back uh, -back defeats in the league, but then a 4-2 win in the uh, the game in Europe. The reason I played that is because I'd had an interview and I figured that I would wait until I've at least played one game in that competition uh, before speaking to you. It just so happens though that the team that are interested, Dortmund, have offered me a job. And there it is then, Dortmund have approached me on a two year deal and as you'll remember, our, car, our current contract at Stuttgart runs out at the end of the season. Now the, the interesting thing about this is that the transfer date for this is the end of the season. Actually, why is my current contract still, I'm still on 20 grand a week, it's outrageous. Um, Dortmund are in a very interesting proposition. I would take it at the end of the year. Dortmund, as you've probably seen from the league table, if you've been keeping up, that, you know, they're just behind us, three points behind us. Only the top three get Champions League football, and that's a problem because some of the teams in this are, are, are way better than us. Not way better than us, but better than us, and at this point are a good seven points ahead of us. So it's going to be a bit of a catch-up job towards the end of the year if we're to get into that top three and get into the Champions League. And of course, though, we are in the Europa League, and because we have one final year, the chances are, because of our, our good season this year, especially in the Europa they will offer me another contract they will offer me an extension so bear that in mind but currently as things stand i haven't been offered one the interesting thing is with the europa league is that there's two teams in this that are of interest really not juventus anymore dortmund have won five nil against braga so they're probably going through and this is probably this is probably both stuttgart and dortmund's best opportunity of winning the champions league is winning it through the europa league now because i've said i will join at the end of the year and not immediately that gives me a bit of a frustration, a bit of a headache, a bit of a problem, I dare say, and where to go next. So let's weigh up then the two options, and this is brave of me. I'm going to let you decide, because I did say at the very start of the series, when it comes to changing clubs, if the opportunity arises, I will let you decide. I am actually going to let you decide this, because I'm very not sure. So we're going to go through both options. I'll try and be as unbiased as possible and uh, yeah, give you my final thoughts at the end as well then. So let's start then with Stuttgart. So Stuttgart, four-star reputation club. I've got some really fantastic players. Chimenti, probably my favourite of the lot. Coming through, just is, is oh, he's getting better and better at his age. The fact he's not being capped by Italy yet, yet is really testament to Donnarumma's success. But four-star player, really really good. Probably one of our better players in the side and then you go throughout the side and you, you know there's some good players here. There's a lot of potential still to be found, I feel like, in this team. Romanos is the most valuable player at this point. And he's, again, is a decent left winger. Isn't going to probably get much better than this, but he's a very good left winger. Defoe in the middle. You've got Kevin as well uh, with him. So we've got a lot of potential in this team. A potential that's not quite been found yet. Of course, Kevin's going to have that diminish a little bit because of his big injury. But there's just the certain things. Henry Green, Christian Veron, Ronaldo Samuel. The question is, would we try and take some of these boys with us to Dortmund? I think the answer would be yes. I think Henry Green is someone that I would try and bring with me, as well as someone like Christian Veron. Um, there's a few others there that I would look at and go, you know what, I'd quite like you to come and join me at Dortmund if we take that job. And then... <laughs> it's, it is so difficult. Financially right now, we're in a really good situation. 57 million, 0.5, uh, 15 to spend as well, which obviously we can, we'll can probably get more come the end of the year, uh, depending on where we finish. Our financial status is rich as well, which is obviously very promising. And there's a lot of good things about this Stuttgart team. The issue, of course, being we're not quite at that next level. And the question we've got to ask is that despite Dortmund currently being sixth in the league table, you look at their previous finishes, second, 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 third, they've had... Relative, uh, relative success. They've obviously dropped out of the Champions League into the Europa League this year as well. So they're one of the better teams in that. And that then does kind of bring us to Dortmund and it's time to look through some of their players and this is the problem. So Dortmund have got one or two very, very, very good footballers. We'll search it by uh, by, by wages to begin with then. I think I've shown you in before, uh, Munkoro is just ridiculous. I mean, for 24 years of age, been capped twice by Germany. He's got 20 determination, great work rate, really good finishing. Passing is probably the only area which I think he needs to improve, actually. Physically very good, fantastic technique. Plays in that cam position, sort of behind the striker as an attacking midfielder. Cam plays a shallow striker, can play in wide areas, can play up front. He can do a little bit of everything. 
And the spine of this team generally is very, very good. You look at strikers. Matthias Muller is just, I mean, look at the 17s. It's physical. So what can I tell you? Great teamwork as well. Determination's very good. Composure off the ball. Finishing first touch. I mean, again, techniques okay. Penalty taken solid. It's He's the complete four. He's the sort of striker I really, really like. And he, while he's not completely prolific, and they bought him for a lot of money, and he's been back and from, well, he's to and from, from Dortmund. Um, I mean, smart financial sense there from Dortmund, by the way. No, obviously not. Um, it's, again, a very difficult decision. There's lots of players in this side. I mean, I'll just, while I talk about it, I'll flick through. They are a four and a half star team. So, on that, on that level, they've got some really, really good players. Luka Jovic, of course, a player that you'll probably be familiar with, is not even really their first choice striker. It does play, but to me, Matthias Muller is probably slightly a cut above. Um, Bernard Leno's there, 34. Is there room then to bring in an Italian goalkeeper that currently plays elsewhere? Maybe there is. And um, their entire team is just, I mean, look at this guy. I'll tell you this guy, that's the same guy I've gone through. Um, there's just, so I'll okay, okay, come back to those. Bloody brilliant. Um, a guy we've not even mentioned, defensive midfielder, Frenchman, William Nasingi, I think you'd say it. I mean, just look at him. Deep line playmaker. Oh, flipping heck. There's so many good players. Paslak, I get to play with Paslak. That sounds weird. Um, but again, there's so many good players in this side that it's difficult to know what to do. Diego Silva, another one, centre-back. I mean, you talk about the core of this team. You've seen the striker, the attacking midfielder, the defensive midfielder, and now Diego Silva, the Uruguayan centre-back, international at 25. I mean, he's the perfect centre-back in many ways. Um, someone I've not even mentioned yet, by the way, is, of course, that Inglet is here at Dortmund. Um, so we'll be linking back up with him. There you are, Gerald Inglet. Again, compared to Diego, it doesn't look as good, but um, it's still a, a decent, solid defender at 23 years of age. German international, of course, as well, um, who Dortmund signed from us for a hefty old fee. Like, they do spend big on transfers. I think that's obvious. You've seen them spend 60 million. I mean, that's our transfers. And um, you've seen them spend 60 million. They're not. Pre they're very prepared, I should say, to uh, to go out and spend, if needs be, 88 million this year, brought in 40 million. The year before that, 96 million. The year before that, 136 million. So they're more than welcome to pay money. You know, this is Dortmund. They, they sell players for a lot of money. They buy players for a lot of money. This tends to be the way it goes. And it's been the case for a while. They're not Bayern Munich. That's the big thing for me. They're not the big, big dog in, in German football. And I think going to them would be a risk. But again, they're a slightly bigger side. They're used to Champions League football. They've probably got the best squad in the Europa League. The, the question is, though, of course, we don't get to control their path in the Europa League. They're currently 5-0 up in their game against Braga, so it's looking pretty good. In terms of the league form, it's going to be pretty difficult for them to get into the top three. You look at it now, they're 10 points behind with, what is it, sort of nine to go. That is that is near impossible, I dare say. And we're in a very similar position, though. So is there really that much difference between the two? The question, of course, is will Stuttgart keep... Or will, will, if I start Stuttgart, will I just keep then Dortmund out of the European places completely? There's a lot of things to go into this. It's a very difficult decision. And um, there's lots of pros and cons on either side. I don't really know... I don't really know. Hence, I'm giving you. I'm just giving you the response. If you if you get it wrong, then I'm you know take the blame away from me. They've got a lovely kit as well, of course, yellow and black. I mean, I shouldn't be thinking about it. Um, again, they're rich as well, so the, the difference there isn't too much between them. At eighty thousand seat stadium. I mean, actually, the best thing to do is go to the club info again. Training facilities five star, youth facilities five star, eighty thousand seat stadium, rich, high reputation, giving me a little bit more money, giving me a two year contract. Is that? But again, I, I don't. I guess for me, I said oh, I'll make a sort of a summary at the end, and I guess this is it then. That despite the pros and cons, I don't know if if I went to Dortmund, that would be my final team. That would be the team that I could push to win a Champions League. I still feel like it would be the second club, and I always felt a little bit like Dortmund is that club, and then that UFT, that, that sorry that Stuttgart is that club, and then that move to Juventus would have been sort of the final boss. Let's get to Juventus, and that's the final team that we'd probably manage. Whereas with Dortmund, I'm not sure if Dortmund is the final team. So is it sort of, we're going one more to go one more? This will be our third team in Germany. I know a lot of you probably want me to move to a different place, a different country. The simple fact is, those jobs don't seem to be available, uh, especially at this time of the season anyway. There aren't these these big old jobs that are just out there uh, and I can go for. If we look at the air job security and then sort of do it by star rate, you can see there's not too many here that are insecure or have a problem. And like the, the lowest one which is insecure is sporting in Portugal. And I think would all agree that's not really a step up it's these four and a half star teams that we're looking at and the only one currently 
that is available to us really is Dortmund. And are these play are these teams above us going to release their managers and ha and give us a chance? Like I don't know if they are, and that's a bit of a gamble to obviously go into the the next summer transfer window without a job offer and just hoping that managers at sort of Real Madrid, Barcelona, Manchester City, Bayern Munich, sort of the top sides in, in football, PSG and Manchester United currently sit at the top. If they lose their managers again, like these guys at the top. I'm not going to get the United job or the PSG job. They're top of the league. It's just not going to happen. Same with Real Madrid. Top of the league. Not going to happen. So it's difficult. City again, another one. Top of the league. Like, I'm not going to get these jobs. And it's a move from Stuttgart to like Arsenal, Chelsea, Dortmund, Monaco, Atletico Madrid. Is, are they all, all a little bit sideways and not the big sort of final push club? The question obviously is though, would I ever get that? Would that final club ever get to me? Like, would I ever make that, that, that leap, that jump? That's kind of the question at the moment. And um, this is difficult, so I don't really know what to do. Um, and I'm, that's why I'm leaving it to you. What I'm going to do then is on the I above me, uh, there's going to be a poll. Vote on that poll. By the time I come to record this video, I'm going to keep that a little bit ambiguous. I won't say when that will be. I will say, though, that it will be 24 hours at least. So there's a good 24 hours to get your vote in now, and we'll go from that. If you're watching this in the future, this was fun. You didn't get to have a say, but I wonder, let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, I'm going to be reading everything, and it'll be interesting to see where you vote. I genuinely don't know what you're going to say. If there's any more questions you need answering, um, I will do so in the comment section. And uh, I'm just, do you know what I've not looked at is Dortmund's youth players. I should clarify again, they've offered me the job. Like, this is a thing that's happened now, <laughs> so it, I have to kind of make the choice. <laughs> I have to kind of make the choice. 23 though, not really, not really a youngster. Um, yeah, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. And I'm, again, I'm leaving it down to you. Stuttgart has got a lot of positives. There's some really good youngsters coming through. They're not quite the finished project. In a couple of years, they might be. Again, there's not many players like you look at the average age of this team. There's not too many over the age of 26. So, again, this team is not finished. It's not complete, but. It could be very, very soon if some of these players continue to develop, and that's the that's the problem, that's the question. Um, right, I'm going to leave it to you. Do the poll in the top corner if you're on a, a phone, a, 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 an Apple device, an Android device, or a computer. You can all vote on it. And um, yeah, there we are. Then we've loved with care, we love with care for me not to mention. Until next time, the series road trip is in your hands. Good luck, dear me. This could be a mistake. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Worth pointing out again, for those that don't remember, end of the season, it's not immediate. It's the end of the season, there's no option to change it. I feel like someone might ask that and I'm clearing that up now.